From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar. This is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A man has celebrated his 105th birthday by becoming the world's oldest person to ride a roller coaster. Jack Reynolds said he was amazed by his first ride in 80 years. He celebrated his milestone birthday on the Twistosaurus attraction at North Yorkshire's Flamingoland theme park before being presented with his official framed Guinness World Record certificate. It took a while to finally get the photo, though. He lost his toupee and teeth during the ride. Doctors are increasingly diagnosing ailments related to smartphones and tablets, like text claw and eye posture. And you know, people might take these problems more seriously if those conditions didn't sound like fighting stances from the Karate Kid. There's a new trend towards what is sometimes being called soap dodging. Among those who have cut down on daily showers, baths, or hair washing were a woman who swipes a sliced lemon under her armpits instead of using deodorant, another who uses baby wipes to freshen up, and a salesman who shampoos only once a month. Okay, is this an attempt to be more green? Because I'm pretty sure not showering actually adds to air pollution. A new Yale study claims that drinking a glass of wine works out our brain more than anything else we consume. The wine workout. <laughs> Up next, wine Zumba. You know, we keep hearing about the health benefits from wine, but did you hear that almost 10% of women say wine makes them itch? It's called wine intolerance, and the allergy-like symptoms come mostly from a glass of red wine. The most common reactions include having nasal congestion, feeling flushed, or feeling itchy. Women also reported, too, that drinking wine also brought unwanted advances by men itching to buy them more. A coal mining museum in the heart of coal country is turning to solar power in an effort to save money and help the surrounding community. This is going to put environmentalists in quite the predicament. I mean, they're using solar power, which environmentalists want, but they're a coal mining company which environmentalists despise. <laughs> this should be interesting to watch. Oreos just launched a new limited edition flavor called Cookies and Cream. Wait, wait so Oreo-flavored Oreos? A Writers Guild strike is looming, and if things are not settled, the riders will walk May 2nd. The biggest impact? All the late-night shows from Kimmel to Fallon and everyone in between, along with SNL, would be shut down. So it might actually improve the quality of television viewing. Male boss or female boss? Which do you prefer? A survey from Gallup gives the edge to men, 32 to 22 percent. The remaining 46 percent of respondents were women who punched out the researchers. Wildlife experts report that gorillas living in Rwanda have learned on their own how to dismantle traps set by poachers. Not only that, but they then teach other gorillas by posting videos of how to do it on YouTube. Comedian Don Rickles died of kidney failure on Thursday at his home in Los Angeles. He was 90. Thanks for the laughs, you hockey puck. Last week, police in Fresno, California shared information on an unknown woman who's claiming to be a mermaid. She goes by the name Joanna. Police say when they found her, her hair was wet, she was mostly naked, and had been in the water. Investigators also noted that she had webbed toes on both feet. They're currently looking for her family. Personally, I'd, I'd do a search for King Triton and see if maybe he knows where his daughter is. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, well, share this video, please, on your own social media to help our channel grow. Hey, have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It's brand new and it is now the official newsletter for Marler House. Subscribers to the Marler Sheet are automatically entered in prize drawings, contests, and promotions. And this month, one of my Marler Sheet subscribers will win a Weird Darkness t-shirt and coffee mug, so sign up for the Marler Sheet free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. For more weird news anytime, to sign up for the newsletter, to download my free mobile app, or to get a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt or coffee mug and a whole bunch of other great stuff, go to DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marler, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!